our get from our vacationers. This is our 2002 Dutch Star Newmar camper. It's 40 foot. We bought it several years ago and we have thoroughly enjoyed it. We've been to 40 something states in it. We've already completed our 50 states, but uh, we went to some of the states in our other camper. Uh, some people have asked us if we'd do a walkthrough of our camper. They wanted to see what it looked like on the inside. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek on the inside of the camper. Toward the door of our camper. This is the passenger seat. This seat does swivel and it does recline. So that makes it good if you've got company coming to the camper. Which we do usually because we travel a lot with friends. There are some drawers up here to keep some of the things. A glove box. The driver's seat also swivels so that you can turn it around. One of the other things that we bought right after we got our camper was a new backup camera. The other one was very old and was only black and white, so this one's much better. You can see more what you're doing. Up here is where we keep all the TV controls, all the boxes for the TV. Uh, the man that owned the camper replaced the TV for us because it was doing having some issues and here's the box that's got all of our controls in it for the motorhome okay the uh, sofa on this side lets out into a queen bed so that's good our son does travel occasionally with us so that's good for him and sometimes the grandkids will come so they get to use that Above the couch, there are lots of cabinets. This camper is full of cabinets. So far, we haven't had to use all of them. Here is the dining room table. And this table does slide out, and it has an extension you can put in it. And there's two more chairs in the back closet that are fold-up chairs that we can use when we've got company. If you notice, there are drawers on the side. That's where we keep our games and puzzles for us and the kids on the other side is a drawer that can be used as a uh, computer keyboard tray and then you can put a full-size computer down in the bottom if you were to want to but we use laptops now so we wouldn't need that back from that is uh, some more kit cabinets that I use for uh, extra food snacks there's a uh, table or bar below it where you can put a lot of snacks out or desserts when you're having friends over and we do a lot of uh, eating together and that way we have more room to put the things. We did uh, replace this ice maker when we first got the camper it was having some issues so we replaced that. Uh, there's also the, the drawer there in the cabinet where I keep lots of plastic bowls and, and different things for the kitchen. On this side, we have this that lifts up to make more counter space. I use it quite often to put our paper plates and forks and spoons and napkins on when we're doing a buffet style uh, thing for supper. The couch that's back up this way has one recliner in it and the other side has a big storage container underneath the chair down there. I love this sink. I love the countertop. It's easy to clean. There are lots of cabinets in the kitchen. Like I say, I've not used all of them for something yet. The microwave oven. And then I have a three eye burner under here. Then I have all the cabinets, all the drawers below. More drawers and then the cabinets that go up under the sink. The refrigerator is the it is a camper one so it can be used on gas or electric we've had a lot of trouble with things sliding around in the refrigerator and trying to fall out so I went to Dollar Tree and bought these bins for a dollar each I haven't got to try them yet but I, they're pretty much fit the whole shelf so I don't think they're going to be sliding around and that'll hold our food in place and 
it all won't get squished and everything. One of my favorite things about the camper is the pantry. It has one, two, three, four, five slide out drawers which make it so easy to store and then find your food when you need it. And we move back into the bathroom. These cabinets here, the top holds the dryer and then the bottom has our washing machine. And I've used these quite often. I like to use them if we if we wash it every day, we can use them without having to make a trip to the laundry at the campground, which is much easier. We do have a shower with a tub in our camper. The tub is awesome when you've got the grandkids here or if you've got young children, you can give them a bath, spray them off with the spray arm makes it much easier. Over the bathroom sink, there's a nice large medicine cabinet and sink with faucet. This is that nice counter like um, is in the kitchen. And then we have lots of cabinets and drawers underneath to store all of our stuff in there, towels, washcloths and that type of thing. Our commode closet has lots of cabinets for toilet paper and different things. We've enjoyed that. So I can go to the bathroom while somebody else is showering, which makes it much easier. The bedroom has a queen size bed. We've enjoyed it. They, the people that had the camper before us bought a really nice mattress, so we've really enjoyed that. There are tons of cabinets back here. Two-sided closet. There's plenty of room for Ronnie Wayne's clothes. There's another TV with cabinets below it. And then there's a counter with lots more cabinets underneath there. There's also this long cabinet here that has shelves in it that's very handy. And then there's more cabinets above there. We have really enjoyed our motor home. We've done lots of traveling, three and four weeks of traveling in the summertime. We've replaced our flooring everywhere except for the slide. Uh, we had a carpet in here and peel off tiles. And it had got the carpet had gotten really dirty and we'd track stuff in from the beach and the mountains and it we'd cleaned it and cleaned it and it just needed replacing. This is much easier to clean. I think we're going to absolutely love it. I hope you've enjoyed the view of our inside of our camper. And I hope you continue to follow us on YouTube. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you on the road. Thanks.